Hello, Avo. I'm Vince White. I'm an employment attorney. On this channel, we answer publicly posted questions from YouTube users, getting folks the answers they need from an employment attorney. You'll be seeing this video on Tuesday, the 14th of May, 2024. And I will be, well, I'll be working half a day in New Hampshire, and then I have to hop on a flight to New York, which is a major bummer, but you know, you gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do. I got a, I got a client meeting the next day. And it makes more sense to come in the night before, so I'm not, you know, tired or whatnot for my client meeting. Uh, normally on this channel, we answer publicly posted questions from YouTube users, getting folks the answers they need from an employment attorney. But today we're not doing that. We're doing a bit of a public service announcement. Announcement. Um, there's a website. A is an apple. V is in victory. V is in victory. O is an orange. Dot com. Avo. Dot com. That I have for years told people to use to find local employment attorneys. And I think for years, that has been great advice. It's been a useful site. Now, Avo, let's look. They were purchased recently. Who were they purchased by? That would be... Who bought it? Who bought it? Okay. So in January of 2018, Avo was purchased by a company called Internet Brands, which I actually thought... Uh, oh, by the private equity firm KKR, which is kind of bad news. Um, you don't necessarily want to be doing business with KK. Oh, I'm not saying they're bad people, but you know, they're looking to get the, their whole thing is trying to, um, as I understand it, as I understand it, their whole thing is trying to pump up business numbers to flip the business for a profit later, right? They're not necessarily looking to operate a business in good faith or anything like that. Like they're, they're looking to put up big numbers and sell the business is my understanding. Now, in light of that purchase, so it's now, you know, 2024. I don't know who owns it now. I don't even know what's going on anymore with Avo. But a salesperson from Avo reached out to me and had a very um, frank and sincere conversation. The salesperson is not, not a bad person. I, I'm going to leave the salesperson's name out of the exchange because I don't want the salesperson's, you know, career or job, or whatever, what, what have you, to be at risk. So we're just going to call the salesperson uh, Babo. I'm going to read the exchange to you uh, because because here's my understanding. Apparently, when you go and you look at attorneys' profiles on avo.com, the contact information and website you're being given is generally not the contact information and website for the attorney you are looking up. That is, of course, counterintuitive. You would think the contact information, the telephone numbers provided, the website would potentially be for the attorney you're looking up on their on their specific profile. They're right, like that's their profile. Now, there's always been ads up at the top and along the side for other attorneys, and if that's all that's going on, then this salesperson did a horrific job of explaining that. But it it really doesn't particularly sound like that's all that's going on. I don't have the capability to canvas all of Avo. Uh, dot com right now i can tell you if i go to my, oh here i'll open up a clean browser let's let's do real-time science avo.com apparently can't type let's see. So let's see. Got forty nine positive. Well, I've got forty nine reviews and and a high rating, an Avo rating of ten, <coughs> and a client rating of four point seven, which is four point seven out of five. Uh, let's see. So Avo used to give ethical history. I don't see they do that anymore. Oh no, they do. Okay, Step, my status is currently registered. No misconduct found. Lovely. Um, admitted to the bar in uh, 2009 in New York, so that's accurate. Uh, lots of the reviews are still there. Let's see. The location is not accurate, but that might not be their fault. My practice areas appear accurate. Um, so as I look at my profile here, there is no ability to contact. Me or my firm. Um, it looks like oh, there's an ability to message me. Is that? Let's click on the message. Okay, so you can message me using avo.com. It claims. 
interesting. Um, so I guess that you you can you can use their site to message me. Now I think realistically, I may have to pay to receive that message. I'm not I'm not sure if that's the case, but my understanding is I may need if you send me a message on Avo, they're gonna send me a message being like, hey, you want to pay for this lead? Don't quote me on that. That is my understanding from another attorney I spoke to. Uh, but as I look at this site, uh, ba, 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 there is, they have all 6,644 of my legal answers. They have all 140 of the legal guides I posted, uh, but there is not any, it is completely now scrubbed of my website, any phone number for my firm, or any information as to what firm I practice with, which is wild. That is wild. The location of my office is uh, not accurate, but I don't know if that's necessarily their fault, as I said. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, okay, so now there's also ads, obviously, for other attorneys here, and there is a lot of phone numbers and big orange blurbs saying call for consultation, and it is mostly clear that the call for consultation is for other attorneys, um, but... Let's let's go to the exchange, and I'll, I'll read you the exchange because I thought uh, I thought it was interesting. So we'll call him. We'll call this gentleman Babo, the salesperson from Avo. Vincent will remove other attorneys' ads from your profile. That's fine. Uh, you were viewed 182 times in the last three days. You must have a great referral network. But those people saw the other attorneys' contact info and website instead of yours. Will restore a phone number and your website on Avo with any premium service. So if I purchase, if I pay them for ads, essentially, or if I purchase a premium service. Babo goes on. You are one of the best reviewed attorneys in your market with a five-star rating based on client reviews. I do have a position open to feature you for wrongful termination or sexual harassment at the top of the directory in Manhattan and with all of your contact info displayed to potential clients. Should I send along a proposal? Quick pause. Young attorneys, do not pay for directory listings. Do not pay for uh, any of those. Um, Martindale Hubble, Avo, Thompson Reuters, any of the, it's not, oh, I guess Avo is now owned by Martindale. You know, listen, young attorneys or people who are new to running a practice, you never want to do business with Martindale. So like Martindale is kind of famous for allegedly, and I actually think that people from Martindale have confirmed this, but allegedly, because I don't care to be sued, um, Martindale will sell attorneys leads like, hey, here's 10 people who have questions about employment law. You should purchase these leads. They could become clients for you. And there's a lot of firms who have trouble getting clients, right? And so attorneys will go and give Martindale money. And they'll give like money every week or every month, whatever it is, and Martindale will give them leads. Here's the thing. Allegedly, Martindale is selling the same leads to multiple law firms. And I'm told that if you question Martindale employees about it, they'll be like, yeah, but it's on you. You got to make sure you, you're the more compelling firm. So you're paying money for leads that are being sold to, I don't know how many firms, five firms, 10 firms, whatever. It is. You should not be doing business in short, in my opinion, allegedly, with Martindale Hubble or, or I mean, now they own Avo, I guess. I guess internet brands KKR already sold Avo. Now they have Martindale Hubble at, at, in their signature line, or Martindale, Martindale Avo, I guess. So that's the that's the opening email, and I responded, uh, "No thanks, Babo. You sound like a pleasant guy, but the idea that you're putting other attorneys' information on my profile instead of mine makes me think I absolutely never want to deal with your company again. All the best." I don't even know why I responded to be honest, but. Then Babo says, thanks for the note, Vincent. And you're right. I am a pleasant guy. See, I told you, Babo's a pleasant guy. And Babo goes on. And I get it. Avo has been accused in the past of extorting attorneys by putting ads in their profiles. Babo's words, not mine. Extort <laughs> I mean, I guess I can see the extortion argument, but I'm not making the extortion argument, to be clear. Uh, Babo goes on. And to be completely candid, I wish we weren't doing it. Well, and, and I get it, Baba. You gotta you gotta work. You gotta earn money. Right? So like, no one's gonna. Sales is a rough gig. I'm sure you're gonna be out of there in the next year. Like, 
Not not because you're doing a bad job, Bob. I was just saying it's not, you know, sales for Avo is not what we might call a career, right? Um, Babo goes on, but reality is what it is, and your profiles do exist. You can either ignore them as a way of lashing out at Avo, I don't know if I'm lashing out, and in so doing hurt yourself at least as much, or you can do business with Avo. I mean, Avo's not that important. They've run it into the ground. Babo goes on, my point being, if your goal is to make a statement, then by all means, stick to your guns. Mm, excuse me. But if your goal is to take care of your business, then pay us a modest fee so that your business can benefit instead of suffer. Be pause be a real shame if something happened to your law firm right this is and and baba's being a gentleman about this like i get it baba took a job baba's gotta gotta feed feed the family whatever it is baba's gotta stay alive be, uh, i get it but it, the pitch here is be a real shame if something happened to your livelihood right and then baba continues in parentheses and it will benefit and it will benefit. You have 47 great client reviews on Avo. That's not, I don't even think that's true. I think I have 49. Uh, and they were viewed 192 times in the last 30 days. And they can be transferred to Martindale and Lawyers.com. Yeah, Lawyers.com is not a thing. I got to tell you, Lawyers.com does not appear to have good page rank. It does not appear to be a good source. I mean, it's, it, it's associated with Martindale. So it's already not a good source of anything for attorneys. And, and, and Babo goes on, in any event, I appreciate the note and wish you the very best. And we're just changing Babo's name because Babo seems like a gentleman and we don't want to hurt Babo, right? Babo, for the record, is a senior account executive at Martindale Avo. I respond, uh, what did I? Oh, I respond to Babo saying, I appreciate the frank talk, Babo, but I'm good. Avo is not the significant feeder. Is, oh, Avo is not a significant feeder to our case pipeline. As a heads up, I will probably be sharing the text of this exchange scrubbed of your name to protect you on our YouTube channel. It's very sincere, and I appreciate your honesty. Babo responds, "Thanks for the note, Vincent, and please do scrub my name when posting that content." And he makes a uh, like a nervous face, a nervous emoji. I appreciate the exchange, and just to note, the only reason Avo is not currently a significant feeder to your case pipeline is that you choose for it not to be. It is here, ready to be a significant feeder, along with Martindale and Lawyers.com, at such time that you wish it to be. Thank you, Babo. Senior Account Executive at Martindale, Avo, Babo. All right, so here's the deal. None of, the, none of this necessarily matters to you because you're not a law firm. You don't need to buy leads, and you shouldn't. If you're a law firm, buy leads. Um, you should absolutely. So Zap Brannigan or Brannigan Robertson, whatever the heck his name is, has like a how to advertise a law firm. Like like his shtick originally on YouTube was like, I'll teach you how to get clients for your for your law firm, uh, which I think he's fairly good at. Like I think actually he's probably better than average in terms of helping people to figure out how to get clients for the law firm. If you need clients for your law firm, it's very simple. Provide value. Just go out and help people, and then people will get mad at you if you don't take their money. Like it's that. I mean, that's not. I mean, I, I, I. That's what I was doing on Avo. It's not really why I started the YouTube channel. It's very much how my firm views the YouTube channel. Now you're, you're helping people, so we get clients. I view the YouTube channel as we're helping people because we're so goddamn expensive, right? Like we, we got to pay our dues because, like, whoa, whoa, right? Um. So you're not running a law firm, probably for watching this channel. I mean, there's a, there's definitely a few, right? There's definitely a few. I, I know for a fact there's a few attorneys who watch the channel. Some of them hate me. Some of whom are like, "How do you have so many cases? Can you please just? Can I have some cases? Can you can you share cases? Can can you hire us? Like, fine. Why this matters to you, person who's trying to hire an attorney, is that. You are not necessarily saying contact information for the firms and attorneys you are trying to contact when you're using Martindale Avo or Avo.com. You are instead seeing slightly misleading information on how to contact people on the profiles of attorneys who you are not. So you're trying to contact the attorney whose profile you're looking at, but all the contact information on that page is wrong. It goes to other firms, not the firm you're looking at, not the, not the person whose ethical history is, is being produced, not the per person, uh, their practice areas, their client reviews, their prior cases, the legal guides they post. 
all that information is up for the person who posts it. It's all there because it's value. It's what Avo uses to get people to go to their site, right? It's attorneys helping people, answering questions, providing guides, right? Like that's one of the beauties of Avo. always was. It, I don't know if it still is. I don't really deal with Avo anymore, but it was a really great way to help people for a really long time. It appears from perusing my own profile that Avo keeps all of that valuable information that attorneys have aggregated on their profiles because that's what people come for. But if the attorneys don't pay some money, we'll, we'll call it um, jokingly protection money. If the attorneys don't pay protection money, they get their website and their phone number and all their contact information scrubbed off their profile. And then other firms and other attorneys' contact information is then popped on their profile. And we can say it's obvious or not obvious. Like, I'll let you look for yourself as to whether or not you believe it's very obvious as to who you're contacting when you, when you contact those other firms uh, when you're looking at the profile of, of the original attorney on, on Avo. <sighs> This only matters because I don't want anybody to get fooled, right? Like if you're looking at great reviews for a law firm, right? Like we've got great reviews. So Bobo, senior account executive Bobo, will will use his language so I don't have to toot my own horn. You are one of the best reviewed attorneys in your market with a five-star rating based on client reviews. Very kind of you to say, Bobo. So hypothetically, people can come looking at my profile and be like, whoa, this guy no ethical history, good, no misconduct, no ethical misconduct, um, five-star rating based on client reviews, according to Bobo, and best reviewed in the market. Whew, that's my guy. I got to call this guy and see what's up. Maybe this is going to be my attorney. And then you go and you, you scroll down and you click on a big orange book a consultation button that is near someone else's picture. And you book a consultation. You call that number. You book a consultation. Guess what? Wasn't with my firm. Wasn't with my firm because I'm not paying protection money to Martin De Lavo, right? So that's not going to confuse everyone. There's a lot of people who, who are very familiar with internet ads who are going to be like, I know what that is, right? And I'll tell you right now, there's absolutely human beings who are going to get fooled by that. And they could end up calling a firm it's maybe not so great. Let's, let's be honest. Our industry has lots of very lackluster firms, right? We'll be generous and say lackluster. And you might call and book a consultation with a lackluster firm who just happens to pay to get their, their ads, their contact information on my profile. Well, you, you wouldn't necessarily be that well-versed in their ethical history their prior cases, their client reviews, because you would have been looking at mine. And mine are pretty good, according to Bobo, right? But maybe there's aren't. Maybe that's part of the reason why they're paying protection money, allegedly, hypothetically, jokingly, protection money to Martin Del Abo, right? I'm not saying you're a bad firm if you buy ads on Martin Del Abo, on Abo.com. I'm not saying that. I'm saying sometimes that's going to be a bit of a bait and switch. Sometimes people who buy ads are going to be really bad firms who do bad things. And they're looking to get away from that. So they're putting their ads in other attorneys' profiles, presumably attorneys who do not do bad things, because I don't think you want to run too many ads on, on a profile of a gentleman who's been stripped of his bar license a couple of times. Yeah, he's only been suspended three times. Well, that's... That's pretty serious, right? That's, well, what was he doing? <laughs> that sounds bad. That sounds very bad, right? So the, the gentleman who's been, I don't know, suspended from the practice of law three times, that might be the gentleman who's super motivated to go run ads on other attorneys' profiles where potential clients might not necessarily see the attorney who's been suspended's profile. Right. This is this is a concern. And I know that I have videos and listen, although I think it's still a tool, uh, maybe. I mean, listen, they're definitely a tool, but. Uh, um, 
they could, it might still be something you can use to find local attorneys, right? Uh, at least there's there's hopefully a listing I, I I think still of local attorneys in your area attorneys near you in a particular field that's a great jumping off point you're probably going to want to take the names of those attorneys and the names of those firms and go search them elsewhere like Google right you probably don't want to search within Avo because Avo's being a bit shady um, although maybe you want to search both right because Avo still offers you ethical history which is valuable and which I don't believe Google offers Google offers great reviews. Uh, I will say that reviews are heavily, like we get reviews from so many people we've never represented. Like I guys, like, most of our negative reviews are people like they wouldn't represent me, or just people who are like, my bagel is cold. Like, what? I don't. We don't sell bagels. What? Do you, <laughs> we're a goddamn law firm. What? What are you talking about? Right. Um. Anyways, I appreciated Babo's uh, very sincere approach. I'm going to send Babo a, a link to this video tomorrow so Babo can, can, can see that I think Babo is a swell senior account executive, and I, I wish him well. I just am not interested in paying protection money to Abo.com. Uh, I have all firms, right? Like I, We have functionally an infinite, endless pipeline of potential cases to choose from. I'm certainly not getting shook down for protection money from a website that's been passed around between private equity and now Martindale. Just, I'm good. Anyways, like, subscribe, comment down below, share the channel so it can grow. I hope this was helpful and uh, take care, everybody. Oh, yeah, I'll, uh, when you're watching this, I'll probably be on my way to New York.